Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Ash, and we currently have a Moogle treasure event in Final Fantasy XIV. So I have heard of this event and seen it before on YouTube, but never got a chance to play it myself. I am super looking forward to getting these mounts and items the event offers, as well as past items that are being offered. I put together a beginner guide for anyone new like me and did my research to give you the best possible understanding of the event. I have linked the event page in the description box below. Let's head over to the Moogle event page for Final Fantasy XIV. The event started on March 15th at 1am to the launch of patch 5.5 which is in early April as of now. So we have a little less than a month or just about a month to grind as much as you can for all of these amazing items. You can start the quest in Limza, Gridania, or Ulda. Of course, this will be far easier with a group, but still solo can make it worth it if you come up with a plan of attack. We will be collecting irregular tombstones via specific dungeon completions and PvP. The duties will have a Moogle with a pom-pom icon indicating which ones will give you the irregular tombstones. They have included a list of which ones will give you the highest to lowest tombstone count, Praetorium being number one, giving 10 tombstones, Orban Monastery and Castrum giving you 7 tombstones, the Lighthouse Raid giving you 6 tombstones, Royal City of Rabanastra gives you 5 tombstones, the 5 PvP events, Boardland Runes, Seal Rock, Fields of Glory, Onsol, and the Hidden Gorge giving you either 3 or 5 tombstones depending on winning or losing, everyone's favorite dungeon, Orm Vale, Keeper of the Lake, Wanderer's Palace and Ampador Keep giving you 4 tombstones. Level 44 Dark Cold Dungeon giving you 3 tombstones. Alexander Raids, Fist of the Father, Cuff of the Father, Arm of the Father and Burden of the Father giving you 1 tombstone. Someone in my discord linked a reddit post that I will link down below and show a screenshot of the duties ranked that are allegedly the most efficient to the least efficient. I say allegedly because I think they're more geared to having a group for the dungeons or winning every PvP match in 5 minutes, which we all know is not that frequent. It also assumes that you have Blue Mage in order to do the speedruns on some dungeons, which you can look up via YouTube as well. They are very interesting to watch. Looking over everything and trying to pick a path as a brand new player myself, if I have a party of four, then I'm probably going to do Orm Vale even without Blue Mage. It still might be the most efficient way to get the tombstones with a party. I don't think I'm going to level up Blue Mage and collect the skills that I need in order to just do this grind method. I think a good party with good communication can get you to complete Orm Vale pretty quickly as long as you're all on the same page instead of just solo queuing and hoping everyone's on the same page as you. If you are soloing though, then maybe a healer or tank queue to the Burden of Father or Keeper of the Lake. This event is kind of long, so either way you should be able to get enough even to just get some of the few things you wanted if you're not gonna make this priority. Since I am a complete beginner, I'm going to utilize this as much as possible and try to get as many tombstones as possible in order to get all the mounts that I don't have. I need to farm these to get every reward where maybe long term players would have already had a lot of these and might not need to farm as much. I myself, who I consider to be very organized, I like to kill as many birds with one stone as possible, so duty roulettes, you might get lucky with some dungeon choices. All in all, I am super stoked for this event to add some amazing mounts to my collection. I've listed a few here that I'm gunning for. The Blissful Camus Fife, Tyrannosaurus Horn, Falcon Ignition Key, Magitech Predator Identification Key, Dracorn, and the Ixion from the previous exchange, since Final Fantasy X is one of my absolute favorite Final Fantasy games. Some of the cosmetics, of course, the Ultima Horns and the Salt and Pepper Seal Minion. You can also click on the past Moogle event exchange in order to have access to even more cool items that were offered in the previous event between mounts, glamours, and other items. Comment down below on your favorite item that they're listing that you're planning on trying to get. Thank you all for watching my video and happy irregular tombstone hunting.